Welcome to Tasty Tuesday once again from my kitchen where today we're baking. We're going to France for a wonderful lemon cake. Now I had this cake a couple of times in France, um, but it has fromage ricotta in it, which is Italian. So I went to try to find a recipe that was similar uh, to what I had in France and I found both a French version and an Italian version of this lemon ricotta cake. So I don't know, French, Italian, I don't know. I had it in France and I had it more than once because it was so wonderful. It's also really easy. In France, they actually don't bake a lot at home because there's a bakery on every corner, um, kind of like our Starbucks. And it's so easy to get the most wonderful baked goods, but sometimes uh, they also bake at home. And this one um, bowl recipe is perfect for um, your guests if you're looking for something that seems really spectacular, but really is very easy. So let me show you how we make it. So we're starting with six tablespoons of butter, and to that I am adding three quarters cup of granulated sugar. You don't use a mixer for this. Your butter should be softened, and so you can just um, easily mix it all together here into your bowl so that you don't have little pockets that are created from the butter if it's not combined. When you put it in the oven, if there are um, large chunks of butter, that's what creates those little pockets when it melts. So you wanna make sure your butter, for the most part, is really combined. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just get as much as you can. And I think we're almost there. Let's give it a little bit more. All right, now, next, we are going to add two eggs that I've already stirred up here. And these eggs are actually from my friend Dale's chickens. Thank you, Dale. Let's combine that. Ooh, it's very yellow. Pretty color. I made this dish um, a little more than a week ago. It was really, it'd been several years since I made it. And oh my gosh, everyone just inhaled it. So we're having company tomorrow. Arnie's mom, we're celebrating her birthday, and this is going to be our dessert. So after you combine the two eggs with the sugar and butter, we are adding three quarters cup all-purpose flour. No need to sift, just work it in to your bowl. Like I said, one bowl dish. All right, so now we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. You could have put that in at the same time as flour. It doesn't really matter. And next we're gonna add some wet ingredients that bring our flavors. So surprisingly, this lemon ricotta dish has three, two thirds cup of um, applesauce. Now you could also use grated apple. I happen to have applesauce in the refrigerator, so I use that. And this is going to add really nice moisture to our cake. For a whole lemon, I've grated an entire lemon. That's what this is. Let's get it all. Beautiful. Want those lemony flavors. And then we are going to add three quarters cup of ricotta. And be uh, sure to check the date on your ricotta. Ricotta spoils pretty quickly, and once you open it, it's gonna last only probably a week in your fridge. So, um, and you won't use the whole um, container of ricotta in this recipe, so come up with something else to use that ricotta for. Now, in France, they call it fromage ricotta, so it's still the Italian word, but it's also, um, it's such a great ingredient for so many dishes. 
that you'll find it in fridge dishes from time to time. Okay, I think that is all of our ingredients. Looks really lovely. Now I have prepared my tart pan. I like using my tart pan for this because the bottom comes out and it has these nice fluted edges. So that's what we're using today. I put a little piece of parchment paper in the bottom and I have sprayed uh, the sides and the bottom with cooking spray. So in goes our ingredients. So easy, huh? All ready to go into the oven. I have the oven preheated at 400 degrees. This is gonna bake about 25 minutes and then we will let it cool. Ooh, perfect. It's gonna raise up quite a bit and just in case, I'm gonna set it on a cookie sheet before I put it in the oven. Smooth it all out here. And now into a 400 degree oven, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Hey everybody, look at our beautiful French lemon ricotta cake. So pretty, and it's it was in the oven for exactly 25 minutes. At 20 minutes, I turned it because it was getting a little browner on one side. And I've loosened the edges a little bit to make sure it's gonna come out easily. And it is, and I'm going to use a rag to make sure I can get it out in one piece. Oh, just beautiful. So that, is why I like this pan. And we're gonna serve this tomorrow, actually. I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight, but let me just show you quickly how I would garnish it just with a few little lemon um, slices on the top. And sometimes I would use um, mint. I don't have any mint today. And I'm just gonna put a couple of sprigs of basil here. And this is going to be a very special dessert, but also very simple. Isn't that pretty? And the flavor is so uh, simple and delicious. Moist, lemony, ricotta. What else can you want? So, I hope you'll try this recipe. French cotta lemon cake. Have a great day.